Hello. So if you're like me, I want to show you a trick where when you're harvesting your sweet potatoes, you can use those vines that you cut off the sweet potatoes to grow a lot more sweet potatoes. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so as you can see, I have tons of sweet potatoes, but I have lots of vines. And so when I'm doing this, I like to make sure that I can get as many of these vines as I want. And I have a few friends that want sweet potato um, cuttings. So I'm gonna do it before I cut these all away from the sweet potato themselves. I'm gonna show you how these vines themselves you can actually use to turn into a lot of sweet potatoes, especially if you do just one or two nodes per cutting. And I'll show you what that means in just a sec. So I'm just gonna stop the camera real quick. I'm gonna take a cutting and I'm gonna show you how to turn that into a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. All right, I went ahead to har harvest a vine. I like to harvest all the vines I'm gonna do cuttings of before I cut them away, just because once they dry out too much, if you just leave them there too long, it's a lot of work to do the cuttings, you'll see in a moment. Um, so anyway, this is what it's gonna look like if you have a sweet potato vine, which you're probably familiar with. You'll notice that some of these positions have air roots and you want to exploit that. Those air roots are your best friend. So you're gonna wanna make sure that the base of these cuttings has an air root. All right, so let me see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think I can. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an incision here, just below those air roots, cut off a leaf, and then just above this node, I'm gonna make another cut, and I'm gonna leave this leaf right here, just to act as a solar panel to gather energy. And what's gonna happen is that node right there is gonna develop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my blade, and I'm gonna make a cut here and here and show you what the cutting looks like. Okay, so as promised, I made the cuts, and I like to give about an inch and a half or so above the um, node that's gonna grow out, just because this portion right here is going to start drying, desiccating, and you wanna, you wanna leave a little bit of leeway. So if that dryness gets down, it'll probably get down about a half inch or so before the roots start going nuts. Oh, and I forgot to cut right here. So let me see if I can put my blade right here while I do that. have a high surface area cut. You watching? My dog loves waiting for snacks. He thinks I'm gonna give him food. He doesn't really like sweet potatoes and they're pretty much harmless if he did, but he doesn't really like them. So I usually give him a treat for being a good boy though. So he's waiting for his treat. I just got home from work. So anyway, as you can see, I have a cut here and I have some nodes that are going to grow out and then this is gonna start growing once those roots are set. Let me just show you what they look like after you have these, because I have a whole bunch that have now set roots. So I'm just gonna put these on my barbecue. I'll come back for those in a minute. Put them in water here shortly. So this is my little propagation station just because I have a mister here and it prevents too much water loss since my misters are programmed to automatically come on every uh, 30 minutes or so for like a minute or two keeps anything from drying out and it also drips right into these cups keeping them full so it's not my preferred way of growing cuttings I like soil I think soil works a little bit better but this almost ensures that you don't have anything dry out as you can see growing in water you have a little bit of rot here the where the leaf was so this needs to go in soil as soon as possible and then once this goes in soil it's going to grow really fast but as you can see here as you can see here this position right here is starting to grow out already that growth right there is gonna become the entire new sweet potato vine. And eventually that leaf will fall off. And then those roots are just about sufficient to, um, to supply the necessary water for this small amount of leaves. You'll notice that those leaves aren't incredibly large. So this is about the perfect time to actually put this in soil because since there's way more root surface area than leaf surface area, they should be able to keep up. So what's gonna happen is as these leaves grow, they're gonna demand more water. And the plant is going to, in response, develop far more roots. And since it's already ahead on the root mass, it should be just fine. And again, I've done this all over my yard and it's extremely successful. I mean, I have sweet potato and loofah um, everywhere just from doing exactly this. I mean, before I was rooting them just willy nilly, but now I'm actually harvesting sweet potatoes. And now that I'm harvesting sweet potatoes, I need to do something with all these vines. So. I don't want too many in the yard because it's getting a little crazy, as you can see. I mean, those are loofahs, but there's sweet potatoes mixed in there as well. 
Um, so I'm, you know, finding people that want to grow sweet potatoes in their yard. And in Arizona, these things make it through the winter, so you can pretty much plant these anytime you want. So super convenient. But as you can see, I have a cup just full of cuttings like this one. I, I made a sweet potato video like uh, two weeks ago maybe, and harvested probably 10 pounds, 20 pounds of vines. And I have three more cups just like this, full of cuttings. So if you or anyone you know lives local and wants some of these sweet potato cuttings, these are the ones that are bright orange, so they're delicious. I just know I got them from the grocery store. I don't know, um, hopefully they're not under patent or something. I don't wanna upset anybody, but if you want some cuttings, you can grow a whole ton. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment for me. I'm gonna put that in carefully. I don't wanna break those roots off. So I'll put that in when I have two hands. But it's a pretty simple process. You can do it in water, you can do it straight in soil. I actually did a version in paper towels. I'm gonna to show that right now, actually. Oop, the hummingbird came to visit. Hey, buddy. If you can see that. So the animals just love coming in here and just relaxing with me. It's a lot of fun just seeing them. Hey, buddy. Sometimes they'll chirp back at me. There he goes. They love this cover. Hanging out in here with all the loofah vines. Anyway, let me show you the other ones. This is another easy way to do this, is you take your cuttings and wrap them in a napkin or a paper towel, and then just put them in a plastic bag on the root portion and leave, leave the, the leaves out. And what very quickly happens, as you can see, is you get roots forming that stick out of the paper towel. This is a good way to keep anything from rotting. And you don't get 100%. You can see that there's one that didn't make it right here. So I'm betting that as I pull this out of the bag, which I'm going to in a moment, you'll see that the ones that didn't make it, the leaves fell off. The ones that are doing fine are either doing fine or not doing fine. We'll see in a minute. <clears throat> That's basically my method. Is just wrap them in a paper towel. Um, maybe I'll see if I can unwrap this on this table. I really need to get a stand to hold these because I just can't do anything holding the phone. All right, so plastic bag. And then you just take your cuttings like I said. I think I took like two or three napkins on each side and just sandwiched up between these. And then you can see that one didn't stay in the plastic bag, so it didn't root, that's why. So if I open this up, you'll see that everything that stayed between the paper towels did really well. And they kind of grew into the napkins a little bit. But this caused them to challenge a little bit. Wow, you could see all the all the callusing there. I've never seen callusing before, that's cool, because usually they rot on the tips and these actually calloused. And once those calluses finish forming, those calluses will also become roots. So as soon as I stick these in soil, that's what most likely was gonna happen. I'm gonna be extra careful with these two. I wanna see if I can tease these apart. Looks like they're growing into the paper towel. So that's something to look out for is growing into the paper towel. And it looks like there's enough roots though that it's gonna be okay. Especially with ones like this that only have like, you know, the one little node that's growing. Those should be okay. But easy way to grow lots of nodes or lots of um, cuttings when you're harvesting your sweet potatoes. Thanks for watching.